As pioneers within the industry, Turtle Rock Studios has been working on a brand new and original game. Returning to their roots, they plan to deliver the definitive next-gen co-op zombie FPS with Back for Blood. We've had to sit by for the past 10 years and watch other people sort of riff on something that we created. The community has been asking us for a new co-op zombie shooter for a really long time. As creators of Left 4 Dead, we want to take what made the zombie co-op shooter experience so fun and then couple that with modern day graphics, modern day technology. We're being given an opportunity to redefine the genre that we created. So if you're looking to spend time with your buddies, mowing down zombies and making a big bloody mess, this is the game for you. This game, you know, it wasn't enough just to survive. We really felt like we want to do something new, we want to do something fresh, we want to push the genre. The survivors have rallied together and now we're finding ways to push back. You are amongst a handful of survivors that were either resilient enough to make it through a year of complete chaos or you're actually immune. The immunity gives the main characters a sense of bravado and uh, confidence that normal folks don't have. You're no longer trying to find a safe place, right? You're trying to create safe places. And part of the way you do that is by going out, guns blazing, and killing as many infected as you can. From the very beginning, we knew what kind of game we wanted to make, and we identified the things that would get us there. Thrilling moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, four-player co-op with competitive PvP, a bigger fight with much bigger enemies, and extreme replayability. Before we start spending time on making sure that the game looks good, we have to make sure that we have a fun, core gameplay experience. We've been playtesting Back for Blood since the third month of being on the title and we play test close to every day because we have to ensure that no matter what we do, that moment to moment is what people are expecting from us. We think our co-op's different because co-op isn't about just putting four people into a mission together. Co-op's about identifying tasks and activity and gameplay that depend on people working together. If they're not working together, it's not true co-op. There is no lone wolfing in this game. You need your friends to survive. Those times when you're completely hoarded by zombies, right? And feel like you're not gonna make it. And then somehow, you know, you and your team manage to pull it all together and survive and destroy the opposition. It's an awesome feeling. It's adrenaline rush. It's one of those moments that make you wanna slap your buddies on the back and cheer and have a beer. <laughs> We wanted our characters to feel stronger in the world and carry better weapons and be more organized as a unit. And so as a result, we really needed the zombies to step up their game. The Ridden in our world are a lot different than regular zombies. We still have kind of the common zombies, the traditional ones that you might see, or the fast zombies. Even those, we added variety. That's where the mutated zombies evolve. We have zombies that explode. We have zombies that, that vomit on you. We have zombies that crawl up walls to get a higher position on you and jump on you. Our tall boy is a nine-footer. He's got a big, sort of lumbering, slow, overhead attack that when you dodge, you feel really, really good. And uh, when you get hit by it, you go flying back. With Back for Blood, you get the unique opportunity to actually play as special mutations. It's one of the things the community asks for the most. As a cleaner, you're going to spend a lot of time getting vomited on, getting pounded into gristle. And the nice thing about Back for Blood is that we give you the opportunity to take the role of one of these mutated ridden and deal some of that punishment to other players. Turtle Rock believes that a good game isn't defined by a single playthrough, but by its ability to evolve over time. Replayability is key, and one of the most important components in keeping Back for Blood's gameplay feeling fresh is its game director. We monitor players, we monitor their actions, we monitor their health, and then we start choreographing the world around them. And the idea is to guarantee that everybody gets a roller coaster ride. So when you start a game, one of the first things that you're gonna see is the corruption cards that the game director has played against you. Whether it makes the world super dark or super foggy and limits your visibility, or if it's throwing hordes of mutant ridden at you, right, that now you gotta face eight of them. And so then you're able to choose from your cards 
what it is that you're gonna counter with. You try different card combinations with your friends, you can play through the full campaign, you can replay the same mission. No experience is going to be the same twice. We're gonna be constantly making content and watching other people make content that we can share with each other. Gamers are gonna be showing us things we didn't even know could happen. We want the game to change over time and, and so we're excited to release the game and then see what the community attaches to and what they get really excited about. We want to keep adding to the game, working with the community to make the game better. Cause that's what keeps it thriving. We're really looking at working on this for as many years as we possibly can. We like creating games that gamers can dedicate themselves to and know that I can always go back and play Back for Blood and have a good time. You've got your guns, you've got your friends, and you just go and you kick some zombie ass. We're gonna make it even scarier and even more intimidating. But you're a badass, so it's not gonna be a problem. You're a zombie killing machine. You slay zombies, and that's your job, and you do it well. <laughs> We're not creating a refresh. We're not creating a redo. We are listening to our community to deliver what we do best to advance the genre forward. It's going to be freaking awesome.